The two big stories that I want you to keep into your focus matter to me. You have a chance at a deal in Congress, okay, and on immigration. And I have to tell you, it, it takes a lot into consideration. I didn't think this was possible. Um, now, there's a sticking point. Two million dreamers, should they be given a path to citizenship? I don't understand how the answer isn't no if people are thinking about what's best for the country. There's also a case before the Supreme Court. It's a Colorado web designer, not the Baker. That was Colorado also, but that was different. And that was a very narrow case. This is going to matter more, this case. Colorado web designer is saying that her faith makes her not want to um, design wedding sites for same-sex marriages, for gay marriage. Okay, let's bring in conservative radio host Bill Cunningham to give his take on the situation. Uh, very tight race in Georgia, by the way. We expected that. As I get updates, Bill, I'll interrupt us just to make sure people know. Uh, right now, Herschel Walker has about a 10,000 vote lead, 61% uh, in, and he is now up 30,000 votes plus. So we'll keep watching. Bill, uh, the immigration deal. Uh, the sticking point on the right is that there's resistance on the fringe to allowing the dreamers to have a pathway to citizenship. Are you okay with that? I mean, the country certainly isn't. You have almost three in four Americans believe that dreamers should be given citizenship. Chris, there's about two million. It could be a lot more. It could be something less. But the idea that a six-month-old baby brought here across the Rio Grande somehow and lived here for the past 15 to 20 years uh, I'm like most Americans, I think 75% of us probably feel as if there ought, ought to be a path to citizenship. But a deal is a deal with, with Tillis and with Cinema based upon border security. We have a crisis on the southern border the mainstream media wants to ignore. And secondly, that even though the president is in Phoenix, he's a 45-minute helicopter ride from the border, won't touch the issue. But I am hoping that somehow, against hope, in the next two weeks, got two weeks, I told one of, your, one of your great producers that if it doesn't happen by uh, Christmas of this year, it's done for the rest of this decade. Think about what's going to happen next year. Do you think that Republicans are going to pass immigration reform agreeable to the Democrats in the Senate? No. In 2024, so all the vulnerable Senate Democrat seats are up. Uh, there's a good chance that this is the only opportunity in the past 20 or 30 years to have good immigration reform, which is border security, pay the agents more, get more judges on the southern border, build more fences, and a path to citizenship through one, two, three, and four. As an American, I would want that to happen. I want the murders and the rapes and the fentanyl to stop pouring across the southern border. I think all of us would agree on that. And so I pray to God that Tillis and Cinema can somehow strike a deal because if it doesn't happen in the next two weeks, Chris, it's not going to happen for the rest of this decade. Right, but if it doesn't it's happen, over. it's not going to happen because of the extreme uh, right flank of the Republican Party. So we'll keep watching that in real time. I only have uh, two little points to push back. The first one is the main thing that uh, you probably probably know this, the men and women who are keeping us safe on the border, the main thing they want is to change the asylum laws and the rules of where you apply from and what the different conditions are. It's a rule change they want, and then, yes, uh, more people to adjudicate those claims once they come here, but some of it should be done in home country, uh, unless it's really an extremist, you're really running for your life. That's a you big, meaningful change. You sound like Trump. Change. Stay in Mexico, man. <laughs> I don't man. think I've you ever heard like him explain Trump. it beyond... I, did you hear me say the word wall? I'm okay with physical barriers uh, where they are, but they were never a panacea. We were Trump. never a wall away. Uh, that's his style of politics, not my style of analysis. The other thing is, hey, if people are really worried about crime, migrants aren't your problem. OK? We got a lot more crime from U.S.-born people than we do from migrants. Are drugs a problem? Yeah. The biggest problem with drugs isn't supply. It's demand, brother. And we got to work on that because people are hurting and we got to treat them like sick people, not bad people. All right. The next case goes much more to good-bad. Um, the Supreme Court case, this one's going to matter. This is not the Baker case. Uh, that Baker case in Colorado was very narrowly decided about how a uh, tribunal had treated the Baker. That's what that decision was about. Do you think it's okay for someone to say, as a right of speech, I shouldn't have to design a website for somebody who's getting uh, married, same-sex marriage, because I don't like gay marriage? Absolutely. In this case, Lori Smith is close to the bakery case of Jack Phillips because creative services are involved. This is not the same. Hey, thank you for watching. 
please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.